terms of key highlights for this quarter, I think there's, uh, other than the fact that there's been very strong growth, uh, almost 28% growth, uh, very healthy growth across quarters, and a resultant 28% rise in PAT, and I think we're quite pleased with the results. Uh, in, in terms of other highlights, Dr. Eddy's, we've entered into a collaboration with Mark Serono, and that is for the biosimilars, uh, commercialization of the biosimilars agreement, and uh, we'd be happy to take questions on that. Uh, we've done some very good launches in the U.S., and that's gaining steam. Uh, we hope to see a lot of uh, large launch calendar going into the second half uh, of the year. This uh, quarter, we've launched atovastatin, clopidogrel, and abandronate, and atovastatin was as late uh, as yesterday. We launched this finally in the U.S. Emerging markets are showing very good growth at 44%. India business has shown a 19% growth rate. Uh, the U.S. is showing 27, uh, sorry, 37%. So all in all, it's a, it's a very, very strong growth across all of our key markets. Percent growth over the previous year. Sequentially, it's a little lower, but that's because the U.S. has been growing so significantly in the past couple of quarters uh, that there will have to be a small correction in the middle linked to the launches. Uh, the OTC portfolio is very strong, almost 21% of our total sales, and uh, we launched this initiative maybe about four years back, and so it's done really well. And uh, both atovastatin and abandronate sodium have now uh, been launched, and I think they're quite very fairly significant products for us going forward. We filed four NDAs this quarter. Uh, moving on to Russia, again, very strong growth, the key market for us, 42% growth in sales. And uh, this is, uh, uh, despite the challenges in that market, this has been very, very good growth, very secular across all quarters. It's the highest ever quarterly sales we've recorded. And this uh, market, if you look at the sequential growth trajectory, has also shown very impressive growth. Four new launches during this quarter. And among uh, the, I think we do about 20 odd products in the market, the top six products uh, for us are in the top two ranks. So that's the strength of the equity of uh, the Russian business. Moving on to India, and the graph at the bottom is more important than the graph at the top, and this is the trajectory. Every quarter we have increased sales, 6%, 9%, and you can see that moving up to 19%, so great uh, story in India, good turnaround. There is some effect of low base in the previous year, but nevertheless, quarter on quarter, there's been a very good progression, and we've, uh, we are now almost back at market growth rates. In fact, we've beaten market growth rates uh, this quarter and a good set of launches uh, that have happened here as well, differentiated portfolios taking, uh, taking over steam. Europe, 14% up. Uh, Germany has done, uh, is growing. I'd like to caution it to say that, uh, you know, Germany is a challenging market for us. We're, good. We're happy to see growth there, but, uh, you know, this growth is not hugely profitable, but at the same time, it's good to see top-line growth uh, within sales. Uh, 